Okay, so we're gonna go to the next part of this, which is animating our player when they move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our graph right over here. We're gonna come to a little bit more area and we're gonna start doing our graph right there. When you click on your player, if you've ever worked with an animator, then this probably will help you understand a little bit better how all this stuff works when you start making transitions. We'll get into that a little bit more as we go along to this tutorial. When you go to the animator, these are transitions. So uh, there's already animations that are set up in your player. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to set up an animation and how to get it hooked up in, um, in Unity to a character. But it's already got it set up and it's already got parameters. So there's a speed parameter, a grounded parameter, and a hurt parameter. So when your player moves and it's not uh, moves left and right, it will tell it to do the walk animation. So basically all this is set up we just have to hook it up to our controller, and that is where um, Bolt comes in. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new graph. So we went to the right here, um, which that bothers me on how much of that's hanging over, so let's fix that. Um, that uh, Also, we need to set up a new um, unit here to basically say get our variable. So get our graph variable because again we're checking our movement here so get our movement make that move, movement absolute so uh, just a second let me type this in absolute um, if you remember I don't know if you took algebra um, but basically when you take algebra there is an absolute value when you multiply so what this is doing is it's not allowing us to have a negative when something is absolute it's always positive so an, uh, negative one times an absolute one is a always a positive one so that's what this little function does absolute and then we're going to set that to our animator so set float animator is what we're looking for and we're looking for name and value so that first one right there now there's a reason why because this is a value and that value is going to go into the animator and what we're wanting to pay specific attention to is speed because in our animator go back to that there is a speed variable and let's say you set that speed variable to one it should move from idle to walk and so on and so forth so um, what this is doing is it's saying whenever you get our movement go into the absolute uh, value of that so if it's moving left it's moving right that doesn't matter I just need you to animate because we're already taking care of the flip left and right I just need you to animate so go into the animation and we'll take care of the flipping of the the sprite over here I just need you to, to, to work the animator so that's basically what that's doing and so in order to get this to work what we need to do is we need to hook it up from two places so um, if especially if you have an idle animation this is gonna come in handy later there's no idle animation in this however so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to do that from our no, no movement check, which is what we've set up here. We want to make sure that when we're not moving, you don't try to flip the X. Um, and uh, we want to do it when you do flip the X. So we don't want you wigging out on us. We just want you to do it when you're supposed to do it. So um, when there is movement, do something. Let, let this code right here take care of the flip. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to branch. Whenever this is true, which we're coming back right over here, when the, the, the rigid body 2D is moving, then what we're gonna do is when it's true, then what I need you to do is animate. Don't be stupid, just do it. Animate, right? So then we come down here to our set scale. Just let me flip this up a little bit. When it flips, so this is the bypass for your flip. When it does flip, we still need you to animate. So basically that's what that is doing right here. It's saying, let me move that down because that's aggravating me. I don't like it when my lines go through other stuff. You know, big spaghetti monster. Anyway, okay, so what this is doing is it's saying animate when it moves. If it doesn't, or when it flips. Animate when it flips, animate when it doesn't flip. So that's what that, that line is right there. Um, and so when you zoom out of your window, which we'll just do this as um, walk animation 
Uh, that's making the animator work. I don't know why, but for some reason, just in my mind, animator should always be purple. Whatever. That's the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way. But when, when you zoom out, this is your big movement uh, so far. So hopefully what this is saying, uh, what you've done here, hopefully this works properly. Whenever I hit play, my guy should move. When I go left and right, and he should animate. And look at that. Yeah, I'm animating the red. But again, he doesn't jump, which we'll figure out next time.